the 24 elders of the book of Revelation. An hypothesis. Before the creation of the world, Yahweh created a class of beings that the Bible calls the sons of God, B'nai Ha'Elohim. I laid the foundation of the earth, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Sadly, many of these sons of God defiled the human race by having children with women. When man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. After the great flood, men disobeyed Yahweh by building a tower. Yahweh then divided them into seventy nations, the number of the sons of God. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, he fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God. Some of the sons of God, however, proved to be a council of unreliable rulers, allowing humans to behave unjustly amongst themselves. God has taken his place in the divine council, in the midst of the gods he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly? I said, you are gods, sons of the Most High, all of you, nevertheless, like men you shall die, and fall like any prince. Therefore, Yahweh has consigned to hell those disobedient sons of God. Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared. Sometime in the future, God will punish in the sky all disobedient heavenly creatures. On that day, the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven, and the kings of the earth, on the earth. They will be gathered together as prisoners in a pit, they will be shut up in a prison, and after many days they will be punished. When the Lord shall reign in Jerusalem, obedient heavenly creatures will be designated elders. Then the moon will be confounded and the sun ashamed, for the Lord of hosts reigns on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, and his glory will be before his elders. Thus, from amongst the original seventy sons of God, there remain in heaven only twenty-four of the original elders who rule over human nations. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders, clothed in white garments, with golden crowns on their heads. These fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, 